Alright, so hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to blur videos or images using the KineMaster application. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed already, please do by hitting the subscribe button. And by the time you're done watching this video, if you find this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Alright, so with that said, let's begin. So I have this video of a dog and I'm going to try to blur the face of the dog. So let's just watch the video so you guys can see. The reason why I'm using this video is because there's movement and I already made a tutorial on how you can do this using the PowerDirector application but it's a bit difficult compared to KineMaster. Alright so you just saw how the video went and the dog's face moves a bit so you can do this on any moving object if you want to. Alright so now that we have the video here, the first thing you want to do is tap the layer button and then tap effect. You can download more effects if you want but um, I'm going to stick to the basics for now or in the future videos we're going to get into all of that. Now tap basic effect and then tap Gaussian blur. Alright so this layer is now imported into the timeline and what you want to do is just drag it to cover the whole section of the video you wish to blur. This is an example so it can just be a part of a video. Alright so now it's it's covering the whole video we don't want that we only want to blur out the face of the dog so what we're going to do is tap the layer itself and then adjust this this shape to match the dog's face you don't want it to be too big or too small you just want it to be okay because the dog is going to move a bit so you want the area to capture the whole part of the movement all right so now we're going to start playing it so you guys can see So right about here, the dog looks down, so we are going to try to move the shape to cover the dog's face. So, in the beginning, um, the dog's ear actually is a bit visible, so I'm going to adjust the layer a bit, and then move here where the dog looks down. So let's just do that. So I'm going to move the mask a little bit to the left, to cover the ear. Note that I'm not increasing the size of the mask, I'm just moving it a bit to cover all the necessary parts. Alright, so right around here, the dog moves its face down. So, what are you going to do now? I'm going to go back a bit. So, I'm going to add a keyframe right here. So, I'll tap this button. Add the keyframe. So, the keyframe is added to the beginning of the layer, as you guys can see. Now I'm going to add another keyframe to the position where this cursor is. So I'll add the keyframe here. So now it's this keyframe is just saying like from the point where the cursor is over to the point where it begins, the mask should stay the way it is. And then from I'll add another keyframe here. Let's let me zoom in a bit to get a precise position. So Add another keyframe around here. So I'll tap this button. A new keyframe is added. Now that this keyframe is added, it's going to create an animation between this keyframe where the cursor is and this one. So between here and here, I want the mask to go down a bit. So I'm going to bring the mask down. So now I'm going to keep playing to see if it covers the face of the dog. Not play, rather just scroll. You can even see the animation. So the key, the mask goes from up to down a bit, as you can see. And then the dog's face is going to go down at this stage. So right about here, add a keyframe again to create another animation. And then around here, the dog's face is a bit visible. So I'm going to bring down the mask again, adjust it a bit so to cover the dog's face and then keep scrolling again. Mm, I don't think it was fast enough so I'm going to create the keyframe here. Bring this one down and then I'm going to delete this keyframe. Oh, do I even have to? No, I don't have to delete it. Let's 
keyframes are only necessary when you have to blur out moving objects but if you have a still image then you don't need keyframes all right so the dog's face is still blurred out i'm looking at it here on the left and it looks okay i'm going to keep scrolling and right about here it starts going back up so i'll create a keyframe and then add another keyframe and bring it all the way up so let's see now yeah, i think i can adjust it a bit to the right and i'll keep scrolling and yeah it's over so let's watch it again from the beginning and see if it works well all right so with kinemaster you can increase the intensity of the blur just tap the, the layer you can see now it's um it has a yellow border then tap settings and then increase the strength so now it's very strong so it looks this way now i mean is that an elephant is that a snake So, if this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up and then subscribe if you haven't. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I know keyframes may be a bit difficult for beginners, but as you practice more, you're going to understand. I know I made a few errors with the keyframes, but I just don't want to make the video too long. Because I'm going to have to create another video today. Anyway, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll be seeing you next time. Alright, stay safe and stay awesome. Bye-bye.